Okay. Um, next, another sensitive question, but I know you will answer it properly. Uh, why was it necessary, in your opinion, to, excuse the words, but brutally murder the late President S.K. Doe instead of just capturing him and turning him over to the Hague, like Reverend. they did with Taylor? Let me finish, please. Giving away, giving way for the so-called interim government, which was already established and waiting to come in to take control. Are we to believe that you were an innocent, accidental tool of faith or could there have been another plan to remove Doe had you not acted the way you did? Please help us to understand. Reverend, you sat there and you heard me over the past five to six hours now. Mm -hmm. Doe regime did not favor my people. Okay, that's what I want to verify. He killed them like chickens with no protection under the law. Our people were being hunted at night. Sanado regime gave the people Neymar sleepless nights. He drove off from the capital nowhere to go. He pursued us in Nimba and did to us what they did, which are now become history. Thank you. Calculating all of that. Mm -hmm. History of massacre of one tribe. And having this man sit before me, what do you expect a man reflecting my minds on the atrocities committed by his regime himself against our people. He should not have done that because many children that Sanado born, he born them and him away. We call each other Dori Dori. If it's for you and Kongba get your problem, you should have a limit. Don't go to Nimba and kill people. When you lie on Wese and kill Wese, why you didn't go to Sano and start killing the people there? When you lie on Nelson Toy and kill him in a, in a, in a, in a phantom coup and, and try them in a kangaroo coat. That's why I was thinking, where was Honorable Stewart when those great men and women were tried by the, uh, the kangaroo tribunal and executed here? I wonder why you didn't go to the marshal and ask him though why he did that. Yeah. And what would you expect? I understand. When my people begin to cry, I should get diplomatic treatment. I must pursue legality. I must leave room for human rights to come in and stop many issues that I would like to see done. When Robert comes to your house, still you think when you cry, the human rights say, You see? So we were on a test pressure. I understand. So let all of us in Liberia remember that deaths occur on all sides. Everybody did something somewhere. No politician in this country, nobody in this country who is in power or out of power or, or before there now will tell me they were never involved in any crisis. All of them. Bishops and all were involved. 